What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to Funnel Heads. I do apologize if my voice is all messed up. I cough at any point in the video or I get short of breath, but unfortunately, I still am getting um, over COVID at this point. It's been like day three or four, so it's kind of been up and down. But anyway, uh, I wanted to discuss today Carnival Cruise Line's Bubble Tour, which is the Dolphin Encounter uh, lunch and drinks in Cozumel, Mexico. Now, we just did this tour about a week and a half ago or so, so I wanted to go in, in depth on this, uh, provide some personal photos and videos of the tour itself, as well as like a broad overview of kind of what to expect and our thoughts as well, you know, if it's worth booking, of course. Uh, but first, before we get into that, if you're new to the channel or returning and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Becoming part of that Funnelhead family, we'd love to have you. Also, commenting and liking on the video is much appreciated and does truly help the channel grow. Thank you so much for doing that. Let's get right into the video. Now, as soon as we saw this tour, we pretty much booked it immediately because we didn't want it to sell out, of course. Uh, and it was one of the only bubble tours that you can book, but also Little Man has been obsessed with dolphins for uh, pretty much the last year. He's been asking us all types of questions in regards to dolphins, and we haven't been able to answer any of them. Um, so it was really kind of like a perfect scenario. Uh, so we booked it right away. Now, once you you know get off the ship uh, in your bubble tour, it's about a 10 minute, you know, little shuttle ride to the uh, area itself. It's basically like a dolphin sanctuary. Uh, they uh, breed dolphins at the sanctuary, train them from basically birth uh, until they pass away there. But they, from what the trainers were saying, um, dolphins in their sanctuary can live like 20, 25 years longer than they can uh, out in the ocean, which was pretty cool. And I mean, the sanctuary itself was clean. Uh, you could tell that, you know, the dolphins really enjoyed being there. They really like love their trainers. So it was cool to see that. Um, but once you get there, you pretty much you know, uh, get your group assigned to you. They uh, split you up into smaller groups, uh, which is cool. There's a, definitely a lot of people. It's a big attraction, um, but they do a good job at, you know, splitting up groups to smaller groups, so like 10, 12, maybe 15 people at the most in each group. Uh, that, and then you can experience some great one-on-one -on -one time with the dolphins. So once this happens, you'll pretty much get your life jackets and then you'll have kind of the safety briefing the do's and don't do's uh, while you're interacting with the dolphins, while you're in the water, all that good stuff. You'll make your way down to basically the area where you're going to go into the water. Now the water itself, uh, of course, gets super deep because that's where the dolphins pretty much live or at least a stay throughout the day uh, but there is the edge of the area where you have steps you go down and uh, pretty much any adult can stand uh, in that area I, I would say it's probably around four feet deep roughly maybe a little bit deeper than that um, but for any guests that can't stand you know you can obviously you have your life jacket on so you'll be able to float no problem uh, you're never going to go out into the water you know like in the middle of the water or in the deep water with the dolphin uh, so you don't have to worry about that uh, but me and Michelle uh, had really no expectations for like the interacting with the dolphins like we weren't really expecting much um, but they actually blew us away with all the different variations of you know what the dolphins do and how they interact with everybody and how much uh, you know everybody got a chance to you know pet and really like do tricks with them it was really cool to see um so that was completely awesome i mean for example some of the things was um michelle stepped out they asked her to do uh one of the signals and when she did it the dolphins did like two front flips which was absolutely amazing uh with our son uh, Michelle, of course, was holding him, and then uh, he pressed on one of the dolphin's uh, foreheads, and he made like this bubbly, farty noise, and Rhett and everybody else was laughing hysterical. It was really funny. Uh, for me, they played hide and seek, so I like covered my eyes. When I opened them, the dolphins were nowhere to be found. Uh, I closed them again, and then they were like right in front of me. They did the splashing, the waving, many different flips, and uh, pretty much everything that a dolphin 
can do or think you can do, they pretty much do. So lots of different uh, variations of tricks and just great time with the dolphins. Not only that, but you get to pet their bellies, you know, their backs, their fins. Um, they also, you can actually hold them. Well, not like hold, hold because they're really big, but yeah, they kind of come up to you and you can like hug them and you feel their heart and all that, uh, their heartbeat that is. <laughs> um, so that was really cool as well. Uh, while you're doing all this, of course, you don't have, you know, camera or anything because you're not allowed to bring in the water, but they have a photographer on site that, um, you know, takes pictures of, uh, you know, everybody in your party while they're, you know, doing the interactions with the dolphins. So that's, uh, you know, awesome to have as well. Now the total time in the water is probably about 45 minutes roughly, maybe give or take five or 10 minutes. Uh, but we felt it was like the perfect amount of time to interact with the dolphins and we were super happy about that. Now after uh, the interaction with the dolphins comes the food and drink part. Now you can get drinks, there's a sidebar once you get your life, um, jackets on that you can order, uh, you know, different sodas and beers and stuff like that. Uh, but the main uh, area, the restaurant area will, where you'll get your, you know, food and drinks for the rest of the time, uh, is after the dolphin experience. Um, and you still get to see the dolphins like playing from the restaurant area, which is cool. So you have a great view of that. The food is actually really good. It's not like a huge menu or anything, but they do have pretty much, you know, something for everyone. So, uh, for example, I think we did like nachos, maybe chicken fingers and I want to say maybe a chicken fajita or something like that but food was overall really good I think we ate all of it you can get seconds or more if you you know want to uh, and I think for the most part we me and Michelle were just drinking um, whatever Mexican beer they had I think it was Dos Equis, uh, that was on tap which was perfectly fine with us so that was really good as well we probably stayed in the restaurant for an additional hour or so uh, before you know the tour was coming to an end and we were leaving now overall this tour was really fantastic and honestly without these other two things that I'm about to mention, we probably would have gave it a five out of five, uh, but because of the experience that we had at the very end, it kind of left us with a sour taste in our mouth. So I'm gonna have to say like 3.5 out of five, maybe four, um, but uh, the first one wasn't a big deal, but it was the locker room situation. Um, you know, most places, facilities do charge for locker rentals. That's fine, but they wanted $15 per locker. I thought that was kind of ridiculous. Um, a lot of people paid it. We did not. Uh, the person mentioned that there was these little cubbies near the dolphins that you could just stick your, you know, bags or whatever you had in there uh, while you were in the water, but it wasn't secure and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but it was fine. Like, it was literally like within eyesight. So we just put our stuff in there it was no problem uh, so that was just kind of irked us a little bit but the second part was the photos so of course you know we expected that we were gonna have to pay for some photos because you know we couldn't take you know our cameras in the water um, and we knew obviously we wanted photos uh, you know especially with little man with the dolphin uh, you know I don't really care about photos with me with the dolphin um, but you know it, it would be nice to have of course but you know I know how much we're gonna pay for them so but we really didn't know or didn't expect how much these pictures were gonna be. Um, now, I can't remember the exact pricing, so I'm gonna use estimates here. Now, once you're in the restaurant eating or grabbing a drink after the dolphin experience, a person with a tablet will come around and basically show you all the pictures that they have of you know your time in the water interacting with the dolphin, which is great. They all came out pretty good. Um, and you know, our next thing was, you know, how much is it? So they wanted $40 per photo, which was absolutely insane because even on the cruise ship, they're not that much <laughs> money. Um, and then if you wanted all the pictures in your party, they wanted something like $240, $250, something in that range, which again was absolutely ridiculous. Now it is Mexico and they said it's not up for negotiation, but everything is uh, you know, up for negotiation. So we were one of the last groups back 
on the shuttle to go to the ship after the excursion was near the end and we were able to talk them down for you know the entire you know all the pictures for 250 we ended up getting them for 150 dollars but it was a hassle um you know if we would have known expectation of prices we might have done things a little bit differently uh, but at the same time like even 150 dollars for the pictures that we got uh, were still outrageous in my in my opinion uh, I don't know maybe I'm just uh, you know the outlier let me know you know what you guys think in the comment section below but um, anyway overall it was a really great tour um, maybe if you have the mindset or, you know the pre-frame mindset of how much these photos are going to cost beforehand you might have a little bit better time at the end um, but it kind of just left us a little bit bitter taste in our mouth because it was such a great day and then at the end it was like oh by the way here is a bill for twice as much as you paid for the shore excursion. So anyway, hopefully that gives you a little bit of information. Uh, here are some of our personal photos and uh, videos of our shore excursion. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll be right back. Now that was the dolphin encounter in Cosmel, Mexico with lunch and drinks. If you have any questions regards to this tour or anything else in general, please you know, comment in the section below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you right back here in the next video or on a cruise ship one day. Catch you later.